It's about to get really uncomfortable in the studio. It's Brooke and Jubal in the morning. And I'm not just saying that because I recently drank a berry cali- uh, berry cauliflower smoothie. What? Extra fiber. <laughs> Why would you tell us that? It's going to be awkward for a different reason. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's going to get a little tense in here because it's time for us to play a game called Plead the Fifth. If you're not familiar oh, with that game, it's a series of awkward questions that get asked to each of us from young Jeffrey. Most of his rude and intrusive questions <laughs> force us to reveal things about our personal lives that we wouldn't normally discuss in a regular conversation. Some of the things that we've learned from prior rounds of Plead the Fifth. For Jose, we learned... Uh, I, don't, I don't really remember. I don't remember. Uh, I do know for Brooke, uh-huh. we learned... Um, yeah. I don't remember. Not remembering either. <laughs> for myself... I don't... Am I... Do I do this show? Uh, I don't think you I, do Am I show. here? Can you, Ever? Because I don't remember. Are you even hearing your own voice? So I'm, I'm glad we're doing this yeah. because I don't remember anything about either of you guys or myself. <laughs> so this what? might be helpful. Who so, am I? What kind of weird things will we learn about each other today? We're about to find out with a brand new round of Plead the Fifth. All right. Young Jeffrey, it's over to you. All right. So we're going to go around the room, and we're each going to be asked personal questions here. Let's start with Brooke. I hate you. Okay, Brooke. And in the past, you guys, when we've played this game, we've been a little skeptical that all of you have been, like, 100% honest. So today, I'm challenging you. Jose, look at me in the eye. Sorry. Challenging you to be completely truthful with your answers. Okay. Okay? All right. Brooke, uh, first question. I'm lying. You've expressed in past shows that back in the day, you had many, many casual encounters with random men. Oh, You've yeah. even admitted to being with a homeless man. I'm not being with. I just made out with him. It's totally yeah. different. I if he's homeless, him. I think that... I didn't know he was con- homeless. That's My considered had to tell me. being well, with him. That's just a kiss. Either way, your question is... Have you ever had an STD before? And please, Whoa. it's required that you be honest. Yeah. You do have one opportunity to plead the fifth. Oh my God. This one is actually really question. easy for me because no. Yes. No. I have it. <laughs> I have it because I will tell you, I am adamant about using protection. Oh, really? Yes. I am. A, I am. A, I will I'm bring kidding. it with me. I am a protection lady. Oh. Okay. You're the fun yeah. Sure. yeah. <laughs> I mean, I will be on the pill and still be using those things. Remember. I, oh, yeah. Jeff so, said, I mean, you come prepared. If you're ready to party, you need to be prepared to party. <laughs> and I will stop any any sexual encounter that's happening and be like, no, wrap that okay. up. Oh. Now it sounds like overcompensating. Yeah. No, 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 no. Remember Jeff said to I be think honest here. really tears. been a downfall yeah. in people using protection. You're really it, hammering yeah, that I point can't... home, though. Yeah. She's yeah. like, I have sprays. Uh-huh. I, I, have... I, couldn't, I couldn't possibly okay. have gotten herpes from the homeless guy. Why are you guys asking me if I got herpes from the homeless guy? Nobody asked that this part. This is a blister. It's yeah. not what you think. Okay? <laughs> you guys are jerks. I, I haven't, luckily. Okay. I haven't. Okay. No, no shame if you have. No shame if you have, but I haven't. Okay. <laughs> Again, over-explaining. Yeah. Again, not judging you if you got them. Um, yeah, it's I mean, totally it's cool. fine. It's, a lot of people do. <laughs> yeah. Some people in this studio might. Not me, it's, but a lot of people. It's normal. It's almost normal if you, not normal if you don't. Yeah. Do. All right. Thank you, Brooke, for answering truthfully there. Now let's move on to Brooke. What? <laughs> Yes, I love You that. have been a mom for four years now, uh, and you're easily the oldest person on the show. I so, am not the oldest person. Brooke, I'm asking that a question such here. Bull crap. There me, is two people on the show that are older than me. Brooke, let me ask the question here, okay? You're, Whatever, you're, the, you're lying. You're a mom, now. you're an old mom, and so we know <laughs> that there's been many shameful moments in parenting for you. Tell us your most shameful one. Oh my god, you guys. I know exactly what it is. Oh, and I'm, really? No, I'm going to get eaten alive. You can still plead the fifth, remember. Who's going to eat you alive, the listeners? So I have I have almost killed my babies a couple times. Oh, on my purpose. God. On, on purpose? Yeah, it sounds no, like you like went in there with their hammer. You were like, ah, nah, nah not going to do it. Instead, I'm going to read them a bedtime yeah, story. That was, those were accidents. So I think they happen to every parent. But my... My most shameful parenting moment, this is so bad, doesn't even really involve my kids. My husband and I went to Vegas 
yeah. alone. And it was our first, you know, time after having the second kid. And I was still, I was still breast, <laughs> I was still breastfeeding. And we stayed up all night partying to, to the point where we, I, we were awake. And we're like, oh my God, we have to get on the flight. Oh, wow. Right? Like but we're night. exhausted. So we get on the flight and we're exhausted. And I also have to pump breast milk. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So I'm still pretty drunk, oh, and I no. decide that it's fine if I pump breast milk while sitting in the seat instead of excusing myself to the bathroom. Yeah, oh, breastfeeding no. in public is one thing, but pumping yeah. right next to somebody is a different. And it's Extreme. really loud. It's like, oh, <laughs> yeah. And not only, not only did I decide that that was okay for me to do. But I passed out during the middle of it. Wow, you're doing it. So I was passed out with a pump attached to my boob for probably 45 minutes on this flight. Oh my god! Before you know what? I woke up and sobered up just enough to be like, "Oh my god!" It's, it's a flight from Vegas. So everyone there was like, "Yeah, that's expected." Yeah. Like, there was some guy next to you doing awful. the same thing for some reason. Yeah, she's he doesn't even know why. It, so. Yeah. <laughs> I, I thought she was going to say she was so drunk she decided to drink it to keep the buzz going. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, I, I definitely tasted it. It's oh, sweet. Oh, God. Yeah. It's like a little vodka in there. Yeah. <laughs> You're just tuning in. We're playing a game called Plead the Fifth where each of us are asked a series of very personal and revealing questions, and we can only plead the fifth on one of those questions. The rest of them we have to answer truthfully no matter how embarrassing it is. So Brooke's been asked two yeah. questions already. All right, Jeff. All right, let's move next? on to Jubal. It's your turn. All right. Jubal, you're the con- you're now kind of a stepfather because the woman you're seeing has two children. Right. So your question is, which child do you love more? <laughs> you can only pick one and you have to answer 100% honestly or yeah. you can plead the fifth. And that is funny. And I remember distinctly you saying that there is no way a parent I know. or someone doesn't love a kid more. Yeah, I did say that. You did, and you've been very adamant about it. I have past. been. And yeah. I've seen you with the kids and you are and, amazing. And you've called awesome. all you've called parents who have said that they love them equally liars. I have. Yeah. Hey. And uh, moment of truth. If I'm going to answer truthfully, I'm going to ha- see the, the problem it. with answering truthfully is I think I have to say that I was wrong and I don't like doing that. Yeah, that's cuz I like I like them both the same. No, you can't. I really do. No. I know. No, you that's have, what I'm saying. You have to choose can't. one. I can't though. You have like to. I they I like them both for different reasons yeah. but the same, They're you know? Qualities. They're different. You, if so you could I, hang I, out I get with one now. of them right now, which one would you pick to hang out with? The older, more independent one, or the younger, more needy one? Pro, well, pro, okay, if I had to hang out with one, probably the older, more independent one, just because the younger, more needy one, you got to be doing stuff constantly. All right. I have realized that, like, part of, uh, you know, like being in the life of a kid that age is just, like, su- suggesting that we'll do things later and hoping they'll forget. <laughs> They don't like know. that's part of parenting though. It's like being like, yeah, yeah, yeah no, we'll definitely do that. Yeah. We'll do it later though. We don't have time, and you're just like, please forget that I told you that. Please forget. So and I they, guess that, but I, I guess I have to say I was wrong about that because you do if love I'm the thinking older about, one more. I haven't thought about it right now. No, I, I haven't thought about it until now. But yeah, I like them both the same. I know it, it means that I'm wrong. Yeah, it means I'm a, I'm admitting that I was wrong about something, wow. which is the hardest thing I've ever had to do. Right? There's, I mean, there's probably some other things that are coming up about that too. That's <laughs> right. Like that's not the first wrong thing. All that's right. good though. That is a really good turn of your heart. Wow. You can it see is. Them. I think that's nice. You can see. I think that's really. Kind. Let's move on. Now I'm feeling like I need to lash out at somebody in anger <laughs> well, to make sorry. it better. Let, let's. Move on. Jose, it's now your turn. Dang it, we don't need to hit the song yet. Not yet. Jose, your question is, what would you guess, because you you seem to know a lot about your parents' life. You tell us a lot about your dad Mm -hmm. and your mom. So what would you guess your parents' favorite bedroom position is? (laughs) Or you can plead the fifth. Oh, my God. Oh, I'm think, picturing them like that is so not cool. Oh, I think you, this is a hard question because deep down I bet you know. Yeah. Yeah. I do know. You I'm do know? Fifth. No, I, I know. have to guess. I you know. You. Okay, here's the thing. Oh my god. My mother is a wild child. Oh my she god. Okay, just my, my mom god. is a wild child. <laughs> Are you gonna say like reverse cowboy or something? Here's the thing about my into? mom. I know for sure she's got an unquenchable appetite for love. <laughs> Thirst for love. I mean, this woman. <laughs> this is what I mean. She's like a 7-Eleven. Open 24 hours. 
<laughs> Talking about my mom. My mom grew up like the rebel. She was a hippie. Uh -huh. She did, you know, drugs and partied. And my dad, though. So what I'm saying is I know my mom would probably be into stuff, but my dad is the most vanilla, No, sweetest. those are the ones that you least expect. Dude, they go goes, crazy. He goes to church. like yeah. you know, I mean, he is, like, super, super boring. So if I had to guess... <laughs> I would say just plain old missionary. No way. I no way. That's not what you believe. That's I not what you truly that's believe. That's not what you believe. Yeah, that's what you want. <laughs> yeah. I hope it's just, let's do it. It's like 10 seconds and it's over. And then, and then I was born. You don't oh. want that for your mother. <laughs> <laughs> don't wish that on any woman. I'm just saying, right. mom and dad. Well, that's no, nobody's you, pled the fifth yet. <laughs> and we'll play we'll play a song and we'll discuss with Jose off the air a little bit more about his parents' sexual lives Please because no. I need to know more. And I'm guessing the questions are only going to get more uncomfortable since nobody's pled the fifth yet. Oh, and great. we'll be asked some more plead the fifth questions <laughs> right after this. It's Brook and Jubal in the morning. Doing a little fact checking. So, Jose, I just emailed your mom asking oh, <laughs> if missionary is in fact... <laughs> their favorite sexual position. And? If you're just tuning in, it's Brook and Jubal in the morning. We're playing a game called Plead the Fifth, where we each are asked a series of very personal and revealing questions from young Jeffrey, and we can only plead the fifth on one of those questions. The rest we have to answer truthfully, no matter how embarrassing it is. And I'm sure Jeff has more plead the fifth questions for us, so let's just get right into it. I have Jeff. plenty more, and it's right. interesting because so far nobody has pled the fifth yet. You've all decided to answer your questions, so a plead the fifth is still on the table. Okay, okay. good, but good. Brooke, it's now your turn. <laughs> Again, Brooke, right. what is one thing that absolutely gets on your nerves about another member of the show? Yeah, this is it. This is an opportunity. <laughs> yeah. you just like, talking about. How much time do we have? Yeah. <laughs> um, I, the first thing that comes to mind, Jose. Okay. <laughs> that's it. That's it. That's there, it. Yeah. That's all. That's all. That's all. <laughs> me, overall. You can never use me and I correctly. You always <laughs> say, always, like Jubal and me have a comedy show. Jubal and me are going to dinner. Or me and Jubal. Whatever. Yeah, it's yeah, not proper. And then the thing about <laughs> no, you not using it, like, I used to correct you years ago. And then yeah. I finally gave up. Because I'm like, now I'm starting to sound pretentious. I'm not trying to be pretentious. But it's <laughs> and I. Yeah. It's and I. And the problem with that is, literally two days ago, you were on Facebook shaming someone for yeah. not knowing how to do your and yeah. your. It's funny you say and that. And I'm like, I what are you, you talking work. about? You are the worst grammar person that I know. How how can you be calling someone out for something that you do on the regular? No, it's true. You and your bugs me so much. That doesn't I, make any sense. I never think about that. I, I don't know. <laughs> me, myself, and me. Just All right, yeah. yeah. Me, me, I don't it know. drives me crazy. And I. And you do it on air all the time. I'm sorry. No, you're not. Why are you so sad? You're me? not. Because I corrected you a long time ago. And no, you never listen. Probably feels good to get that off your chest. Yeah. <laughs> I've been living with that for a while. Yeah, I can tell. I'm sorry. I'm Speak well enough for you, Brooke. <laughs> oh, well, thank you, Brooke. Let's move uh, on. Jubal, it's your turn. Okay. What is the worst bedroom experience that you've ever had? <laughs> and please try and keep it PG. Okay. Uh, there's two that come to mind right away. Okay. Are they both? Are they your fault or someone else's fault? Uh, or a collective group effort. No fault. I wouldn't okay. put. I wouldn't place blame on anybody. Okay. But they were just <laughs> weird experiences. <laughs> and I'm trying to think. So you said keep it PG. If you can. Man. Okay. I'm just trying to choose which, which one would be, the okay. Uh, <laughs> I'm just trying to figure out how to keep it. <laughs> PG for you. It's there, just funny because you're like thinking and you're like smiling like. Oh. You get, they were funny. They, like, they were funny. Okay. You're just imagining Jose's mom again. No, stop it. <laughs> That's a matter of fact, she's both of the no! examples. Oh, so. No! <laughs> okay. Um, all right. So I think the worst bedroom experience I had was I was. I like went out on a date with this girl and then we started hooking up uh -huh. and she wanted me to uh -huh. smack her boobs. Okay. Smack okay. Her. All right. That's a good smack, way to put it. Right. Okay. Slap. And so I obliged mm -hmm. like lightly. 
<laughs> we'll tap. Mm-hmm. And she she didn't like that. She said Whoa. harder. <laughs> <laughs> so I did that's it a, again. That's a fine line. <laughs> playfully. Yeah. Those are sensitive, right? And she looked at me and was like, "No, hit them." What? And then I was she like, just want to be punched uh, in the chest. Okay. <laughs> so I I reached back and gave a, a huge hit. <laughs> okay. And I felt bad instantly. I was like, oh my God, what did I just do? And then she looked at me and she said, no, not like that. Stop being a little. And then she swore at me and then threw my hand off and started assaulting herself. (laughs) Hitting herself. And I just watched. And then I was like, I, I'm, I, I, I'm done. I'm you <laughs> yeah, do your thing you do you right now. I'm, I'm just too drunk. I'm gonna lay here. Your little child hands weren't enough for her. No, yes. they weren't. I was scared. I was just like, stop hitting yourself. Stop it. You're gonna hurt. Stop it. I'm yeah. For that. Story. That has to hurt. Yeah. Oh my God. So that would probably be, be it. That was really bad. That's the weirdest one. I yeah. For sure, it was gonna be like, then she got up because she thought I was attacking her. But no, no, she, no, wanted she, she wanted more, and I was. I I couldn't do it. Yeah, that's a good thing. Wow. That's a good thing. All right, Jose, it's your turn again. Your question is, you are on a boat with Brooke and Jubal. Mm. Okay, the boat capsizes, oh, and you can only save one of them. The oh. other will not make it. What? Who do you save? That is the most messed up question I think I've ever been asked. <laughs> this is like my work bro and my work sister. Mm. This is my family. I mean, Brooke did just call me out. I want to say... Yeah, now you're upset about that. What what you want to say is you want to say, me and Jubal were on the boat together, (laughs) is what you want to say. I would say, me and Jubal. (laughs) Dude, that's a really tough question. Really? I think it would be an easy one. I'll give you my reasoning on that after you answer. Okay. My instinct says, save Jubal. Because Jubal's my bro. He's got me on... He's the reason I'm on the show. He's, you know, I got... we have the comedy thing. We do lots of comedy together. Wow. But Brooke, you and I have formed a great relationship. Brooke's also years. a mom with two children. Yeah. Oh, I didn't think of that. The kids. Yeah. And God. I love her kids. Why are you putting Jose <laughs> as the responsible one for saving yeah. us? We know with the boat capsized, he's sinking. See, that's what I was going to say. She's a mom, two kids, zest for life. I'm one step away from walking in front of zest a bus at all times. <laughs> at all times. So... Because yeah. we are good friends, and I know that about you. <laughs> I walk on the inside of the street when we're walking yeah. together, just in case you do that. I walk dangerously close to the street every day. But in overall, I I, I got to do it. I got to plead the fifth. I can't really? Pick. Can't answer No, I love both of you guys. The same, just like kids. <laughs> I guess. Just plead the fifth. That's all I got. I okay. got to do it. I can't. Huh. I can't. I can't That's answer interesting. that. interesting. <sighs> Sorry, guys. Right. Sorry to disappoint you. Well, I wish, you I wish we would all live and you guys are disappointed. <sighs> yeah. yeah, I was hoping you would want one of us dead. Yeah. <laughs> Move at 92.5. Move at 92.5. Mm, hey, girl. What's up with you? Wait a minute. Is this the right number? It's um the loser line. Come on. Just call me back. If you haven't heard the loser line before, it works like this. Let's say a guy approaches you while you're out at the club and uses this charming pickup line on you. Hey, what's up? You have a phone in your back pocket? Because your booty is calling me. (laughs) Ring, ring. Yeah. Uh, Step number one, do not laugh in his face. Step number two, tell him that you're so thankful he introduced himself because it's about time you met a real man. Mm -hmm. And that's when you give him the digits to the loser line. So hopefully he calls us and leaves an awkward voicemail that we can play for you on the air. Voicemails like this one. Next message. Uh, hi, uh, this is, uh, I, uh, don't know if you remember me, although I, um, uh, hope you do. Anyway, uh, the reason I am calling you is, uh, I was hoping uh, to ask you out. Um, um, please give me a call back. I, um, I really look forward to, uh, talking to you. Uh, so yeah, um, I guess that's it. Okay, uh, bye-bye. Next message. Oh, my God, she's adorable. I'm uh, sorry, but that's so cute. I have a checklist of things to talk to you about on your voicemail right now. I was hoping to uh, ask you out. First order of business. Second order of business. Call me back, 
por favor. I know, you know he, he just... hung up and he's like, idiot, idiot. Yeah. Yeah. I should have planned that better. You should have just been like, hey, why don't you go out sometime and talk to you later. <laughs> it's a lot easier just way. to do that. Yep. <laughs> Here's another message from the loser line. Next message. Hey, um, again. Um, I just, uh, I don't really know what happened. I thought we had a really good connection and we really got along and you told me about your family and I told you about my family and we both have dogs and I just, I don't know, I don't, I don't get it. So if you want to go out or whatever, um, give me a call, uh, but I will be around later. Just call me tonight. Okay, bye. Next she is loud, very loud, and I like the fact that we both have dogs. Yeah. How are you not calling me back? We have so much in common. You have parents, I have parents. Yeah. Remember, text the word LOSER, L-O-S-E-R, to 78592 if you want that special number for the loser line that you can give out to people so they can call us instead of you and leave us voicemails like this one. Next message. Hey, uh, I'm looking for I actually didn't get your number from uh, from you the other night at because you kind of left uh, quick. I figured something was up. But uh, I got with uh, a couple of people around the bar that ended up knowing you, and I got your number. Figured that you and I could go and get hammered sometime. All right, baby. Will you call me? Next message, baby. I love that that was a group effort to give him yeah. the loser yeah. line. That I is... picture him oh, we got our number, bro. just yeah. walking around the bar like, hey, there was this nice girl here. Did you see where she went? I want her number. And they're like, yeah, we have, the, we have her number. We yeah, it. we're Here like best friends with her. Yeah. <laughs> Here's another message. Next message. Hey, this is, uh, I got, I got your number from Richard. Um, just wanted to uh, call and, and, uh, I guess follow up with you, see if you wanted to hang out Friday night. I'm, I'm noticing, I'm hoping this is the right person because I'm getting one of those sort of robotic, uh, this is the number. So if you'd like to hang out with me, um, I, I would, I would love to see you again. And maybe we could go on a date. <laughs> I don't know. So anyway, if you're interested, let me know. Next yeah, I would totally oh, go out with that guy. His robot like, voice is impeccable. I, I like love it. when they try humor on a yeah. voicemail. And when they know? love it, like he laughed at it like, yeah, yeah. I that. that was good. It's really good because <laughs> they pause where they think there's laughter, yeah. where yeah. they think laughter should go, and it never is. So it's just them being quiet for a second, like, I'm going to wait, let the laughter die down a little yeah. bit, then get back to my message. It's all about timing. Mm-hmm. Next message. Uh, hey, hey, my, uh, I really enjoy spending time with you. Uh, but I, I have to, let, man. I have to let you know. Um, you know, I already have a man. You know, and we're in a relationship where we got a good thing going. But I'm really into you, and um, you know, I, I mean, I want to keep a connection with you. I mean, I mean, if you can call me just on Tuesdays, maybe Thursdays too, like after five o'clock, that would be cool. I mean, you keep this thing going on. You know, I really, I really like you, but I, I can't mess up what I got going on right now. So if that's cool, call me on Tuesday and Thursday. Five, all right? Next I really message. like yeah. you, and I can't mess up what I have going on right now, but I'm going to attempt to mess it up by scheduling times where you can call me and we can yeah. talk. That really makes you feel special when you could call someone on Tuesday and Thursday. Right. After five, It bro. sounded like he was in the other room and his boyfriend was, like, next door. He's yeah. whispering the whole time. We get a I lot really of phone calls you. like that on the voicemail for the loser line, actually, of people like, listen, I'm in a relationship right now, um, so there's, like, an hour window every week that you can call me, call me and talk. Because they think that they're so special. That person's going to be like, what? Seriously? Yeah. I could talk to you for a, oh my god oh, yeah absolutely great. I am in and how bad is it is if the person you're dating is cheating on you and still getting the loser line like they can mm. it's so bad that's pretty bad like why are you with that person <laughs> here's another message from the loser line next message hello I just want to call and see how you are doing uh, you're probably kind of buried with snow up there uh, I'll call you again uh, uh, later End of messages. It sounds like somebody oh, gave their no. grandparent the loser line oh, phone number. No. You don't want to talk to your grandparents? Hey, What's wrong with you, Grandpa, people? I know you're getting seen now. If you yeah. ever want to talk, just call. Just hey, call on. this number and talk. And that has to be the shortest voicemail left by an old person ever. Yeah, yeah seriously. That's a good point. He seems like he'd be an okay grandparent to talk to because normally their stories are just so long. You're just like, dude, come on, get to the point. <laughs> somebody actually gave their grandpa oh, the number no. to the loser That's line. The I commend you. Thank you. Very much for that. All right, your phone tap is coming up right after this. It's Brooke and Jubal in the morning. 60 seconds away from your shock caller question of the day. It's Brooke and Jubal in the morning. But before we go into that, if you're ever on vacation in Hawaii and some local walks up to you and calls you shark bait, mm-hmm. you might assume that you're about to get beaten up mm-hmm. and maybe thrown out in the ocean for the sharks to eat. Yeah. Yeah. That might happen. But don't worry. 
They're not really threatening your life. They're just insulting your complexion. Because <laughs> in Hawaii, shark bait is a term locals use for tourists who are so pale that they would attract sharks if they got into the water. <laughs> Wait, sharks are attracted to really pale people? I guess so. Like, that is scary. You stick out in the water? And that's a yeah. term that you would hear in Hawaii, but it's not the only slang that's specific to one state because a list recently came out of the most unique slang terms in all 50 states. Mm, cool. Here are some of the strangest ones. In Arkansas, oh, gosh. a roofer is a synonym for an idiot or a moron. Oh, wow. really? It must be terrible to be an actual roofer yeah, in Arkansas. Right? <laughs> like, no, I'm just literally a roofer. Like, it's what I do for work. <laughs> yeah, I, know, I would idiot. assume that's where they got it from, though. It's like they're just trolling people who do that as a job down there. In Georgia, if somebody says you have lovely chitlins, yeah. don't punch them in the mouth. They're not talking about chitlins on your body. Because oh. it means you have lovely children. Oh, look at them little chitlins. In Illinois, if somebody says that they're driving on LSD... <laughs> Whoa, dude. That's not usually a good thing. It means I mean, it could be fun, but not not, not smart. No, you're driving on Lakeshore Drive in Chicago. Oh, so I'm on I'm on LSD right now. <laughs> like, where? Oh, oh my God! You should pull over. <laughs> in Oklahoma, if somebody says "jeet," it means "what'd you eat?" Mm. Whoa, yeah, I can really? hear that. Jeet. Jeet. Yeah, yeah. My, my mom's from Oklahoma. They also say "rune." Really? Ruin. That short, that means ruin. They just shorten everything. Yeah. Ruin. Did, <laughs> did you get ruined? Maryland, a bop is a distance that's a lot further than you would like to travel. Like, oh. I, man, I would love to come hang out, but it's a bop, you know? Oh, I kind of like that, actually, yeah, yes. now that I said it. <laughs> and in Delaware, if somebody is backing up, it means they're laughing really hard. Oh, I thought they were totally doing it. Oh, that does kind of sound like that. Yeah. <laughs> I could go either way. I was thinking a car with airbags, but no, okay, well, It just means they're laughing really hard. It's a little bit more of a stretch. All right, let's get into the shot caller question of the day. Young Jeffrey from the studio with a hat full of names. We'll draw a name out of the hat to see who will get the shot caller today. They're asked a trivia question. If they get it right, they don't get shocked. Jeff does because he's a roofer and asks a terrible question. <laughs> If they get it wrong, they get shocked at the song that you want us to sing. Text in at 78592. What song do you want to hear from the person who gets shocked today? Jose is drawing a name out of that because he had the shot caller last. And who did you get? I got Brooke. Brooke today. What the heck, right. Brooke. dude? Brooke's got the shot caller while she's putting that on. Jeff, please read Brooke the shock caller question of the day. Recently, the USDA sorted through their data and they came out with a list of the most consumed fresh vegetables in America. And in this study, fresh vegetables does not include things like canned, frozen, or juiced products. It only accounts for fresh items that are sold to restaurants and grocery stores on a yearly basis. So name the top three most consumed fresh vegetables. And as a lifeline, you can ask me any one and I'll tell you yes or no if it's in the top three. Can I ask, though, are you considering tomatoes a vegetable? Uh, sh- yeah, I'll, that I'll give you. Okay. Yeah, because um, that's always a controversy. Right. Seeds, so it's a but food. I would think that canned tomatoes are probably more consumed than fresh tomatoes. Yeah, for sure, for, like, pizzas and stuff. Um, okay. So I, I remember a stat where <laughs> kale was, like, the biggest selling um, restaurant vegetable, and it really? was like solely because Pizza Hut used it as decoration in their salad oh, bar. In the salad bar, that's right. I think. But I've I don't even know too. if Pizza Hut still has salad bars. I th- only only a few of them. Was like been a, a minute since I've been to a Pizza mm-hmm. Hut. Yeah, I had a buddy try to find one the other day, and he really had to look for one with a salad bar. Like it took him. <laughs> he wanted time. a Pizza Hut salad bar yeah, that bad. That's all he wanted was like, <laughs> dude. And so he Googled it and he asked people to. <laughs> a Pizza Hut salad bar. I swear to God, he drove like hard an hour. Find. He drove okay. an hour and a half to get it. Oh well, man, but you get that root beer with the little tiny crushed ice that they have. <laughs> yeah, that good. sounds good. Okay. I would yeah. drive an hour for so that. Back distracted. to vegetables. Yeah. Now, these are vegetables that are sold to restaurants or just consumed overall? Restaurants and grocery stores. Okay, okay. so you have to say lettuce because every restaurant serves salad. Not every restaurant, but lots of restaurants serve There's salad. so many different types of lettuce. Do I have to Do I have to name a specific no. lettuce, Jeffrey? Or can I? That's like saying you have to no. say Haas avocado. Like he's like, you don't have to say a specific one. Yeah. Okay. And you think lettuce more than spinach, you guys. I just eat a ton of spinach. Yeah, I would think lettuce more. Okay, so lettuce is one. Um, I could get behind that. I feel like onions would be a big one. Oh, yeah. Because you put onions in everything. Read the question one more time. Recently, the USDA sorted through their data, and they came up with a list of the most consumed fresh vegetables in America. (laughs) Name the top three, and you can ask me still about any one. I'll tell you if it's in yes or no, if it's in the top three. Okay, so far I got lettuce. I'm going to go potato. 
Potato, good yep. one for French fries. I didn't even think about that. Um, and then my last one. I think, dude, I keep thinking salads and tomatoes still. No, I think carrots. Is carrots on the list? Carrots is not in the top three. Whoa, good Dang question. It. That was a good elimination, though. Okay, lettuce, potato, and what do you guys think? What do you think? What do you think? Oh, need an answer. Celery. That's really weird. Whoa. <laughs> People don't eat that much celery. Yeah. Uh, I'm, <laughs> right, sorry. I'm sorry. Tomato. I'll go tomato. <laughs> Lettuce, tomato, and potato. According to the USDA, the top three most consumed fresh vegetables in America over the past year are number one, potatoes. Nice. By far. Number two is tomatoes. Oh! Come and on, lettuce! Let's go! Number three, the third most consumed fresh vegetable in America is yeah? corn. Oh, oh. I forget about I corn. Known that. Oh, yeah, that's no. a, that makes sense. <laughs> lettuce is fifth on the list. Oh, man. Okay, you got it wrong. And <laughs> you, you people need to be eating more greens. <laughs> you want to hear Beat It by Michael Jackson. So there's the lyrics for that mm. if you need them. And yeah, whenever you're ready. Just beat it, beat it, beat it, beat it. <laughs> no one wants to be defeated. Showing how funky it's and strong it. is your fight. It doesn't matter. <laughs> oh, that was like a Michael, Michael Jackson. Jackson yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, your phone tap's coming up in just a few minutes. It's Brooke and Jubal in the morning. I'm Bradley Johnson with 1-800-DUI-AWAY. Not getting behind the wheel after drinking is the best choice. But if you're pulled over, the next best choice is to call 1-800-DUI-AWAY. It's another Jubal phone tab. And weekday mornings on the 20s. Only on moving 92.5. Hello? Hello, is Betty in? Yes, this is Betty. Hello and God bless. This is Casey Ryback. I'm calling from the Vatican. The Vatican? Yes, in the office of Pope Francis. How are you doing today? Are you serious? Yes, I am. I know it can be kind of shocking to receive a phone call from us. <laughs> yeah, yes, um, it is. And this is Betty Smith from 24 <laughs> Avenue in Tacoma, Washington, correct? Uh, yeah, that's correct. And that's right. you sent Pope Francis a letter about a month ago. I did. I'm calling you because he would like to formally respond to your message. Um, is this real? I mean, I I just can't believe that I'm actually... Receiving a call. I'm honored. I'm well, totally honored. Well, you should be. It's not every day you receive a phone call from the office of the Pope, I wouldn't I think. I guess not. <laughs> so you asked him a question about your life's direction. Yes. You know, my, my two children are, are now out of the house, mm -hmm. and I just thought that he could give me some direction and kind of help me define, you know, what my calling is. Wonderful. Now, are you excited to hear what plan the Pope has for you? I can't believe this is actually happening. I'm so excited. Well, the message that the Pope has for your life going forward is simply this. He wants you to open a casino. Pardon me? The Pope... A, a, a casino? The Pope's suggestion is that you open a casino. And he noted preferably one of slot machines. Pope is a big um, fan of slot machines. I'm sorry, um, a casino, what, what benefit could that have for anyone? Oh, ma'am, it's a money generator. They're fun. <laughs> well, I, you like know. A good time for everybody at a casino. Have you ever had a bad time at a casino? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> Isn't gambling a sin? Well, it's only a sin if you're not winning. <laughs> that's, that's a little joke that the Pope and I have with oh, each other. okay. Um... I'm I'm a little stunned here. I I just I just can't believe that well, the Pope would want me to be involved in gambling, much less open a casino. When the call comes, it comes in different ways for everybody. Yeah. And your calling is to sell your house and buy sell a casino. My house? Well, yes, I didn't mention that earlier. He wants you to sell your house to finance oh. your casino. Oh no, I I I can not sell my house. I can't believe that that's the, the divine plan that the Pope has for me. Now, Betty, you seem hesitant. Do you not yeah. trust Do you not trust the Pope and his message? I trust the Pope. I just, this message is too, too beyond, uh-uh. The Pope wants you to spread the word 
with blackjack and poker and craps. Oh, craps. The Pope loves craps so much. Listen, the, the farthest we go is bingo. That's, that's as far as we'll take it. And certainly not a casino. Okay, Betty, how about this? I'm willing to go back to the Pope and ask him if setting up a bingo hall would be acceptable. <laughs> well, no, that's not. I'm sorry. I just used that, you know, as an example because we have had, you know, bingo night at, at the church. Yes, and but, wasn't it um, fun? Wasn't it fun? <laughs> yes, we had fun, but no money. No money changed hands. How about this? What if we just have you start running numbers for the Pope on, say, the ponies? <laughs> Horse betting. No. No, you know. Oh, the Pope, he loves his ponies. No, no, no. The Pope would never, ever. Every Kentucky Derby, we at the Vatican just put our big obnoxious hats on and uh, suck down mint juleps. And... Are you pulling my leg? This is absolute hogwash. Yes, I am, because this is actually Jubal from Brook and Jubal in the Morning on the radio station Moving 92.5 doing a phone tap on you. Your son Trevor set you up. What is this? I don't get it. It's it's a prank phone call. Your son wanted me to call you and mess with you. He said that you recently sent a letter to the Pope and thought it'd be funny yeah. to... Yeah. No, I did. And, I think you learned today, your calling is to open a casino. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> Wake up every morning with Jubal Phone Tabs. Weekday mornings on the 20s. Only on Moving 92.5. All right, going for 33 wins in a row today, Brooke. And you're going to be playing Annalisa in Renton. What's up, Annalisa? What's up? Hey. Are you ready for hey. this game? I, you know, I not to pat myself on the back, but I'm kind of on fire right now. She is, though. Okay, I'm ready. I'm ready to, for this. I got to I got to get this. All okay. Right. <laughs> All right. Let's see if you can put out Brooke's fire. She's leaving the room. Annalisa, the game is played like this. You got 30 seconds to answer as many questions as possible. If you don't know one, just say pass, and you have to beat Brooke outright to win, okay? Okay. Are you ready? I'm ready. <clears throat> I have a cliff bar stuck in my throat, so I'm not you quite ready. You always have a cliff bar in your mouth. <laughs> I know. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let me swallow again. Sorry. Your time starts now. Uruguay was the first country to legalize marijuana nationwide. What country just became the second? Uh, Europe? I don't know. <laughs> the famous Amex credit card known as the black card has no limit and is made of what metal? Uh, silver. Cats cannot taste what? Bitter, salty, sweet, savory, or sour? Sour. What pop star has a perfume line that has fragrance names like Fantasy, Believe, and Private Show? Britney Spears. That went in. We'll bring Brooke back into the studio. So, Annalisa, you got any fun plans for the weekend? Uh, the weekend? I know it's only no, Thursday, but... working. You're working? What do you do for work? I'm a, I'm a medical assistant, and I work at the front desk, so I have two jobs. Oh, wow. So you, like, check them in, you're like, okay, the assistant will be right with you now, and then you just walk around and open the door and be like, is there a John here? And they're like, you just talked to me, like, oh, yes, I, but I'm the medical assistant now, so nice to meet you, John. All right, Brooke. No, two different places. <laughs> oh, I see, okay. Brooke is you're also the doctor. You're like, the doctor will be here in just a second. Close the door, walk back in. Yeah. Hi, John. Nice to meet you. I'm the doctor. Um, Brooke's back in here with her headphones on. You ready? Yes. All right. Your time starts now. Uruguay was the first country to legalize marijuana nationwide. What country just became the second? Canada. The famous Amex credit card known as the Black Card has no limit and is made of what metal? Uh, titanium. Cats can't taste what? Bitter, salty, sweet, savory, or sour? Mm, sweet. What pop star has a perfume line that has fragrance names like Fantasy, Believe, and Private Show? Oh, shoot. I think that's Britney Spears. How many people have been buried on the moon? Zero. When a product has small capitals letters TM next to it, what does that stand for? Uh, trademark. Let's send it on over to the scoreboard and see how you guys did with Jose. It looks like a giant ape with a man's face. Bolaños. <laughs> Annalisa, uh, you got one correct today. <laughs> okay. That's right. You got three jobs, you know. Yeah, you're good. Brooke, <laughs> yeah. you got in a couple extra and five correct. Wow. Damn. And I barely have one job. 
Didn't get any money, Elisa. And Brooke, it's her 33rd win in a row. Let's go over the answers. Uruguay was the first country to legalize marijuana nationwide. What country just became the second? Canada. Recreational sales will start October 17th. The famous Amex credit card known as the Black Card has no limit, and it's made of titanium. Cats can't taste sweet things. What pop star has a perfume line that has a fragrance with that has fragrances with names like Fantasy, Believe, and Private Show? That is Britney Spears. How many people are buried on the moon? One. Eugene oh. Shoemaker, he was a geologist, and his remains were sent to the moon and buried in 1998. Cool. Long trip for his family wow. to visit him. Ex- that's an expensive burial. <laughs> the funeral was also on the moon. Yeah. yeah. yeah sad <laughs> funeral. He, nobody came. When a product has small capital letters TM next to it, what does that stand for? That stands for trademarked. And Elisa, you didn't win, but just for playing today, you got four tickets to Movies in the Park at Marymore Park in Redmond. Oh, yes. Thank you. Yep. Yeah. Plus, you get to choose any movie you'd like to go to from their schedule. Oh, great. Another that bonus. perfect. Yeah. Just go to marymoreconcerts.com for more information, okay? Okay. All right. Now, Brooke's got 33 wins in a row. Yeah, what is the streak? 52 was your yeah, 52. most? Yeah. So, so still got, got some work to do. We're 20. But a little less than 20. Pretty good streak not right good, now. Good thing it's not simple math that we do no, right now. No, not at all. Yeah. All right. We'll play Winbrook's Bucks same time tomorrow. Moving 92.5.